Okay, so now we need to think about how to hold the instrument and how to hit it. Two things, how to hold it with one hand, how to hit it with the other. Uh, I really suggest that you learn those two things before you start playing the rhythm. Let's go with this first. Most people do think about how this hand holds the brewing bar. Okay? Most people look at this as the important bit. This one is how you move it is important. And you can get away with holding it in different ways. You don't need to hold it in one particular way. Unlike the other hand, this really does need the correct technique. So the left hand, you put the little finger underneath and the rest of the fingers and thumb in front. And you just learn to hold that before you do anything and move and practice just this. Okay, you do that for a few days, off and on. Leave the burin bow strung up somewhere and keep picking it up and practicing this. Your hand here isn't straight, okay? Don't have this straight. It's bent slightly at the wrist. And this allows you, now today we've got a small kibasa. If you've got a big kibasa, you need this to get around it, okay? Without getting tense or in funny position. You use the wrist. You see that? The wrist is not straight. Okay. The other hand is the kashishi. And it's an instrument alone. So when you play the berimba, really, you play two instruments, a kashishi and the berimba, okay? And this hand is also bent at the wrist. This one this way, and this one this way. And we use this action, okay, importantly, where the, these bones turn the radius and ulna turn around moving this. Okay? And we hold the stick in between those fingers. Okay? The thumb supporting. Okay? And this technique with the fingers and the wrist is the skill that you need to develop to hit the boom bow, okay? So you're hitting it correctly. You're taking out the sound of the boom bow with this strike, okay? And we know when it's correct because we can hear this sound. So you hold the kibasa, it doesn't just hang anywhere. You, okay? Those two, Things are different and separate. You have the one hand doing one thing, the right hand doing the other. When you learn to use these two independently, it's when you start seeing and hearing really good Roomba music. But we're beginners and we're taking it slow. So, let's have a look. Put the two together. Okay, you've got the stick and the cashew sheet, and then we put the coin or stone, and don't hold that on the end like this. Hold it inside so it's not on this end joint, it's on this joint here, just above. Okay, that's quite important because otherwise your finger's going to go numb. 
and you're going to say, that hurts and it can't go on. You need to be relaxed with this hand. So make sure you hold this correctly. Thumb on top, okay? And then you hold the barimba, the finger goes in, and the coin, or stone in this case, can touch. Go on, push the wire, or come off. This is another skill that you need to develop. Okay? Once we're holding that correctly, with the wrist bent, this relaxed, we can start to walk around and just feel comfortable with the barimba. This sometimes is difficult because most people, when they start, they balance the barimba like this. So it, it moves around. You want to lean this forward slightly and hold it so that you're not playing with the balance. It's leaning forward slightly. And it's also why then the kabasa can close correctly on your stomach. See, if I'm balancing it here, I don't get that close. And in some notes, if you're playing capoeira, you close. You've closed completely, okay? It's very important that you get the correct position for the burimba tip, leaning forward. And that, that's quite difficult. And that's holding it. Okay, so all we've done now, we've strung up the balloon bar and we're ready to play. So I'll see you in my next video for a few exercises to take the sound out and play your first notes.